Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about a new piece of functionality that was released in the community edition of FusionAuth. It was released in version 1.30. I'm going to show you a script that exercises this functionality, then run the script and examine the results, and then talk to you about why you might want to use this functionality. first thing to realize about JWG vending is that it requires an API key. This is a protected operation. And so this is not something that you want to allow unauthorized users to have access to. Then in this particular case, I am going to set up a user ID and I'll talk about that a little bit further on. Um, I'm just using a, UID gen, which is a command line tool. Next is this curl command. And a lot of this is pretty standard. What's probably most interesting to you is the payload. And here we have some parameters. Time to live in seconds is how long this jot will be valid for. And that can be any non zero integer. The claims are pretty much echoed back to you. So you can put anything that would be a valid jot claim into this call. In this particular case, I'm using that UUID that I previously generated as the subclaim. I'm also adding a role of anonymous. And there are some other claims that will come back and we'll see that in a second that are reserved. So that would be things like the expiration claim or the exp claim. So pretty simple script. This is in curl, but you could use any of the client libraries that FusionAuth supports, or you could call this API with, with anything that supports HTTP. All right, so success. We get back a JSON web token. Let's examine the contents of that token. So we have a valid header. We've signed this JSON web token. We have some additional claims, the expression claim, the issue debt claim, and the JTI, which is basically an identifier. But you can also see that we have the claims that we provided. So what does this let you do? This lets you basically create a token that is signed by a key managed by FusionAuth that has whatever claims you want. And this could be useful in a couple of situations. You could want to generate jots for protected resources to consume that look similar to those that are created when a user signs in against FusionAuth. Perfectly valid use case. Another use case would be if you want to support anonymous users. So let's say that you build a recipe site and you want to allow a certain limited amount of functionality every time someone anonymous comes to your site. And then if they register on the site, you want to let them transparently move that functionality over. Let's say the functionality is you want to let them save three recipes while they're anonymous. So what you can do is you can create this JSON web token using the Vend API and pass this to the client, right, the browser, the mobile app, and have that be presented to all of your protected resources, including the save recipe resource. That save recipe resource can examine this JSON web token and validate it the same way it would if a user had logged in. The save recipe API can look at the roles and realize that this is an anonymous user and place some limits on the number of recipes that they can save but still let them save recipes. Then when the user actually decides to sign up, we can use the same sub identifier to create a user with a known UUID. And so when they register, we can create a user with a known UUID and those saved recipes are transferred along with any other profile data that you've saved for this anonymous user. 
So that's another use case that JWT vending will be very useful for. Again, this is available in the community edition. It does require using an API key, so it's a privileged operation. If you have a version of Fusion Alpha from 1.30 on, this is available to you. Thank you for listening and happy vending.